Good morning, and welcome to another edition of On Capitol Hill. I am Nan Swift, Federal Affairs Manager here at NTU. The House and Senate are back in town after a two-week recess, and the House kicked things off on Monday with a series of suspensions, most significant of which was the DATA Act, the Dat Digital Accountability and Transparency Act. This was a bill that will help um, aggregate all kinds of spending data on usspending.gov, but in a downloadable, searchable, comparable format for taxpayers and legislators and bureaucrats alike to be able to see more accurately what we're really spending, how and when, and where all your money is going. Um, that passed on a voice vote, and after, um, and since it came from the Senate, that's now headed to the President's desk for his signature. That's a big win for taxpayers this week. Today, the House is taking up the Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Appropriations Act. This is the first in what will be a long season of appropriations when we decide how much money we're going to spend on our various national priorities. Following the Milcon VA bill, the House will be taking up the Ledge Branch Appropriations Bill. Over in the Senate, they're doing a bunch of nominations and also S-2223, the Minimum Wage Fairness Act. You might have heard me say that they were looking at it before, and they've tried. They've tried to take this up a couple times, and the bill number, for some reason, keeps changing. But despite the bill number, despite the name, this is ultimately a really unfair bill that the CBO estimates could cost up to one million jobs. That's a far cry from Harry Reid's promise of creating 85,000 new jobs. You can learn more about this and the other bills I mentioned at www.ntu.org where we have our vote alert, letters, and all kinds of other good stuff.